You are now muted. And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another ASUG affiliate webcast. My name is Tim Seymour, and I'm the virtual sales coordinator here at ASUG headquarters in Chicago. We have a great program for you today. Make more money by investing in what you have. How CU leverage business objects dashboards to deliver value to their customers is the title. And with that, let's get started. A few keeping notes to keep in mind. All participants' lines are currently on mute. However, you can ask questions throughout the webcast. If you have a question, please type it into the Q&A field in the panel on the right side of the WebEx screen. We will be doing a Q&A session at the end of the webcast, so make sure and get any questions in so we can answer as many as possible. If for some reason we are unable to answer all questions, the webcast is being recorded, and Convergence Consulting Group, our webcast sponsor, will contact you to answer any unanswered questions post-webcast. Today's webcast recording and slides will be posted to the ASUG website, and registrants will receive an email with the link to those materials. Now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, Melanie Plofsky, Sales Engineer with Convergence Consulting Group. Melanie? Thanks. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you all for joining us for this webcast today. Um, I know it's the end of the year, and everyone's really busy, and hopefully a lot of you are planning on taking some vacation here soon. I'm really excited to present to you our webcast today. Um, like you said, my name is Melanie Plofsky. I work for Convergence Consulting Group. We're a consulting services company based in Tampa, Florida, and we specialize in implementing business intelligence solutions. We for clients to deploy best fit, high value solutions as you will see in this webcast. We like to say business intelligence is who we are in what we do. With this webcast together, we thought this information would be good not only for the financial services industry specifically, but that's something that cuts across all industries. Many engage with our clients where and they have purchased a BI tool and it's being utilized or there are several BI tools and they are working together or it's purchased the tool and not being used at all, and it has become what we like to refer to as shelfware. This can be for many reasons. It can be adoption, user training, lab and strategic initiative, or resources bandwidth, to name a few. That as a consulting services partner for our clients, we come in and able to help with all facets of delivering successful BI solutions. This brings me into introducing Gina Pack. She is the business analytics program chair at PSDU. We work with them on many initiatives and, pro and projects, and later you will hear from our solution architect, Kristen St. Jean, who has been some really great work that we're proud of over at PSDU. And Jean. Good morning. So who is PSDU? We are the nation's largest credit union service organization. Credit unions are our customers. They actually own us. And at the end of the year, we reach an annual patronage dividend. So they are our focus, and everything, everything we do is in line with trying to grow their business. So right now, we're an industry leader for payments. We offer financial services to our members using the cooperative model. We have a 24 by 7 call center. We do offer card processing online and bill pay services and marketing consultants. We also have three locations in St. Petersburg, Phoenix, and Detroit, and our mission is to be a bold, innovative payments leader that empowers our credit unions to compete and prosper. So with that said, we have some very specific strategic initiatives to help our credit unions be relative to their members and to help our credit unions grow prosperity. And to accomplish these goals, we collaborate, innovate, and we're creating breakthrough solutions and tool sets, including analytics tool sets, to help differentiate our credit unions in the marketplace. We believe that building the infrastructure, starting with our enterprise data warehouse, is the foundational step towards achieving our short and long-term initiatives. With smart data, we can help credit unions build a plan for customer engagement and retention, leading to greater overall customer lifetime value. So if you go ahead and advance the slide, I'd like to talk about the initial engagement that CCG had with our company. Okay. Can you tell me what slide you're looking at there, Gina? Just so I can yep, make sure. we're on slide number four. Sorry about that. Yep, okay. Okay. Is that, is that the one you're seeing? 
it can go ahead and, and move ahead, and I'll just tell you when I'm on the next slide. I apologize. We're having some technical difficulties. Um, Tim, can I ask the slide to number four if it's not an issue? Yeah, I'm actually doing that now. Once I saw that it wasn't moving. No. Well, while Tim's advancing the slide, I can go ahead and speak to the engagement. We actually were working on strategic planning several years ago, and our executive team determined that we needed someone to help prepare an industry analysis and provide best practices for us, basically recommending how we would go about building an enterprise data warehouse. CC was chosen to help us with our long-term initiative of building and executing an enterprise data warehouse, which was you know, in line with helping us with creating those exceptional tool sets and analytic tool sets for our credit unions. So additionally, we had some smaller scale short-term goals that we used CCG consultants to help us with, um, basically alleviating some very painful manual processes. For example, one monthly process was taking a very skilled internal resource over a week to complete. So CCG was able to come in, assess the situation, build an automated data solution for us using the data integrator, and now that report runs through web intelligence and takes under one hour to complete with very little manual inter intervention. So again, um, utilizing their consultative power, we were able to reduce what was taking a week down to less than one hour worth of productivity time per month. And I'm on slide number five. Is everybody seeing that? Yes, yeah, slide five. Okay. Another product that we helped, that CCG helped us with, was managing our fraud data. The fraud analyst used external data warehouse for queries, would remote in and query the vendor's database. It was very time consuming. It took about 10 minutes or longer per query. It was very expensive, and it only housed about 30 days of history. CCG folks, again, took a look, assessed the situation, and we were able to bring a file into the PSU database using data services, created a fraud universe according to the business requirements, provided several standard reports, provided ad hoc capability through web intelligence, and the result was an increased efficiency from 10 minutes down to 10 seconds. It ended the ability for historical trending from 30 days to 13 months. And basically, it helped us enable and, and to realize cost savings around $50,000 a month. So that's huge. And again, everything we do is to return value back to our credit unions. So the fact that we were able to save $50,000 a month, again, is a, along the line and along our, our core values of being able to, to work on with the credit unions and return that patronage, patronage dividend back at the end of the year. So we want to be very efficient in everything that we do at the company. Um, and it's an excellent win for us with CCG's help to get that data, that fraud data, in a, a very um, streamlined process. So on slide number six, it gives you a little diagram of what was happening with ad hoc reporting prior to initiating the good result. We actually had a credit union would call up if, there, if they had requested an ad hoc report, they would actually call up and, and speak to one of our member services reps and request a report, um, which we may or may not have had access to in the data. It, and so it, it was a, you know, several phone calls, several requests, and then again, we may or may not have returned a positive result, a very clunky workflow. So um, on slide seven, you can see the sad face woman because it was very frustrating. End user experience was not very pleasant. We had, um, it wasn't the very best data service delivery model that we could expect. Um, just because of a clunky workflow. So again, part of our goals on um, CG was to really streamline the process. So slide number eight, Kristen, I will let you review very quickly what our current initiatives are, if you can jump right in. Thank you, Gina. Um, sorry about that slide issues. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but I think we're on track now. So the current initiatives that we're working on at PSCU is we're building this enterprise data warehouse. We want to get rid of that clunky end user experience that they were having where all the data is in a different data source. You have to hunt and look for everything at one time. So 
you know, that's a big reason that we're building this enterprise data warehouse with PSDU. So the many sources of data come in all shapes and sizes. We're looking at Oracle databases, uh, a lot of flat files, because at PSDU, it's an interesting uh, interesting environment because most of the data is actually at a third-party vendor. So we need to get all these files from the vendor and bring them internally and pull them together in a database so that reporting can be made simpler. So tools that we're going to use to do this are Teradata was the appliance that was chosen for the data warehouse. The L tool is SAP Data Services. Initially, we'll be using Business Objects Enterprise also to give the ad hoc in dashboard to the user. And with security, because PSU has a lot of credit card information, we have to make sure there's a lot of security involved. So Protegi was the solution chosen by PSU to be a security software and do all of their encryption and data restriction. So the stuff of this is we're going to get all this data into one place, it so that users can go in and get the information they need in one place, and it's not difficult for them anymore. So, with that said, the result would be the happy user at the end, really with the streamlined user process. So, collapsing and and the solution that we're engaged with right now, we're collapsing many desperate systems into one tool basically one-stop shopping. So in addition to bringing all the data together into this one good repository, we have one tool now that we can go through and mine and get actionable insights. Well, a single sign-on, which enables seamless navigation. There's really a minimal learning curve. We have enhanced activity that we've already realized. And basically, we are working smarter. I'd like to show you what the, the landing page basically is what we're calling it, that we'll roll out to our customers. When our users will log in, they'll see a branded landing page, and from here they can select their desired tool. Um, we got the report view up top, performance view, and data view. Today I'll be talking about performance view and data view. Performance view is our dashboards. We've, we've branded it performance view. And then data view is our branded title for the data mining. Tool. So from this from this launch site, um, you can select data view, and so from there, what we're calling the ad hoc analysis page here, data view will enable us to pull an ad hoc analysis, but it will also allow our end users to pull ad hoc analysis. So this tool will be utilized for both internal users as well as our external customers. So they'll be able to see reporting. It's very simple and fast for the user. And for us at PSCU, it replaces several disparate systems that we offer today for both internal and external. So it's really going to collapse down training, internal training and external training support. Um, it just domino effect. It goes down the line as you know, managing and maintaining one system is always more optimal than maintaining several. So this solution is going to bring all of our data together into one tool. Basically, it's a drag and drop data model, data mining tool. We won't have to worry about teaching someone how to build joins, um, joining data tables together. This will be that will be done for us in the background based on the data architect that we have designed as we roll this out. There will be pre-built filters, comporting routines. Um, we'll be able to see results in a preview if we wanted to get just a little sneak peek. We can save and open queries from a personal library or from a system library that we're going to be calling Community View. So really it's going to give open up a new world of opportunity for us to provide excellent service to our members and for our credit union members to really get actionable insights on what's happening within their portfolios. Some of the actionable insights that we expect to see through data mining will include a tighter cluster and and segmentation of our customers, um, basically our credit union's customers, for B2C opportunity assessment and targeting. Um, it will enable the credit unions to do their own analysis and get quick answers. They're, again, they're going to have the shared templates and standard reports that we'll build for them in the community view area. Increased efficiency, it'll free up internal resource time, it, it really is that self-serve environment that we're, we're striving for. Our credit unions can do their own analysis, and um, 
mine, is we expect this to be a pleasant user experience. We want to deliver excellent service to our credit union members, and we want for them to be able to get those actionable insights to help grow their business. So we feel increased efficiency is optimal, and um, folks will be smarter due to better data and tool sets. So the next slide is, is showing you basically our, our performance view dashboards. And we um, about this. It's an, interact, and it's an interactive dashboard. It's going to replace several portfolio review tools that we have today and several reports that we have in place today. Um, basically, because we offer a multitude of financial services at PSCU, um, there are several different types of portfolios that our credit union members may have um, and may need to review, need to look at. So this particular dashboard is going to enable us to bring all of our products into one dashboard um, that the, the user can click through to see exactly what it is they're looking for in one tool that has the same look and feel. It's going to show major performance KPIs, um, the key performance indicators. It has a three-year trend that we've built in. Um, the the user can sort by program type. It can show timelines. They can include or exclude the, um, elements in this dashboard. Actual numbers and ratios will be presented together, and there's a hover over opportunity in this tool to give some more detail. And this system will show a peer and industry benchmark for performance assessment. Each API has a comparative benchmark with a um, benchmark view and a tabular view. Each user will be able to print, export, and email images, send links from their dashboard view. Each user will be able to launch data view if they want to. So from performance view dashboards, should they choose to want to see the underlying query or get into a granular view of this particular data, they can certainly just click right over um, from that launch pad that we saw earlier and then take a look in data view and see the underlying, underlying query and if they wanted to see more advanced results. So again, it's very um, seamless, same sign-on, same login, no separate system is necessary. And then with this particular view, you can see it's a, it's a different tab, it's a different column view from the previous same dashboard. So depending upon the user and their preference and how they choose to look at their information, they can certainly you know, modify this dashboard to their own viewing pleasure. Um, so we're excited about this as a new opportunity, and we're actually rolling this out to our, our, member, our, um, our members this month. So just to recap on the dashboard itself, we have these dashboards, which will replace several disparate systems and that we utilize today. It gives the user a high-level ex executive view of their programs, of all of their programs, based on benchmarks. There's a drill-down capability. It provides a year-over-year -year and a month-over-month -month comparison so that they can take a look at trends and see if there's anything that's a red flag for managing their portfolios. And if the user wants to see the granular view, they can click over to data view to see the underlying, underlying okay. data, um, which is, was built, which was used to build those dashboards. And um, I'd like for Kristen to kind of talk a little bit about the external user security. So we've data view and performance view, as you can see, our data view is basically web intelligence. So PSU already owned SAP business objects, and they chose to leverage that and expose it to their clients to create this data view concept where they're going to be able to now go in, get their own reports. They won't have to rely as much on the service account managers at PSCU anymore. Um, it's going to just make for a much, much better end user experience. Just like you said, more streamlined, more efficient, and hopefully happier customers for PSCU. Performance View is the SAP Business Object Dashboard tool. It was all of those dashboards were built using that tool. Um, there's behind the scenes, there's three different dashboards that kind of appear as one. That was done through spell coding through an internet landing page. So you can see you can take SAP products and build them into other pieces and parts so that you don't have to always go through the BI Launchpad to get everything. The dashboards can be exposed through other internet sites also. So PSC really leveraged what they already had to create this awesome end user experience for their customers. The one really challenging aspect of this is the security part because in this data warehouse we don't just have the data of one credit union. 
it's not one internal company data warehouse that we're making. We're creating this data warehouse for multiple customers that need to come in and see their own data. So each credit union's data is in there. So in the data warehouse, there's hundreds of different credit unions, but when they log in to Performance View or Data View, we have to make sure that they can only see their specific data. That could be a huge security breach <laughs> if they see someone else's data, right? They're in the, another credit union is not going to be happy with that. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how we went about accomplishing that using the tools Business Objects Enterprise to help us do that. So is there is a custom UI. That landing page is a custom user interface that the credit unions come through. They wanted to make it so that credit unions can add and delete their own users from the system. So to do that, there's a special place in that user interface where the credit union's admin can go in and say, okay, this user can have access to data view, this user can have access to performance view. They get to control all their specific rights. Because we've had some awesome resources on our team. They had custom code that the credit union enters something into that UI. That user then is imported to the BI Launchpad, and through that custom API code, it's exactly what group that user into in business objects. So the user is assigned to a specific group automatically based on code from the user interface to the launchpad. And the way the, everybody uses AD, so what happens is that AD login comes into a database, and we're getting a little bit more technical here, but that AD login comes into a database through the user interface. And we needed to figure out how do we break this up for credit unions. What if there's a John Smith at Credit Union 1 and a John Smith at Credit Union 2? We need to come through as the same person. So what we've done is we've tagged PSCU's internal client ID on each of their users that come through. It's a specific attribute on their AD login. So what Subjects does is it, it uses that attribute on the AD login to automatically put it into that specific credit union's group. That's how we are controlling what data they get to see. In information design tool now where we're creating the universes, we did an at vari we're using the at variable function to restrict the data based on that attribute that comes in on the AD login. And we had it in the Business Office Enterprise Central Management Console, you can find different variables. So our admin took that attribute that came off of AD, defined it as a specific variable in business objects for us, and then just used that at variable function, which is available in the information design tool, to tell it the exact that the client ID has to equal that ID, and that's the only data that those credit unions get to see. We accomplished our security issues at PSCU. It's seamless. Nobody has to do any manual work. The credit union logs in, gets their data, everyone's happy. And now I'm going to let Gina tell you about what PSCU is planning in the future. Thanks, Kristen. So you see from our previous slides that we're well underway towards building that infrastructure we talked about to support our strategic initiatives. Again, our goal in life is to help our credit unions to be relevant to their members and to grow the credit union's prosperity. And we feel that doing that through smart data is going to really um, help us achieve those goals. We've already launched tools that enable better operational reporting and portfolio reviews through our data view queries as well as our performance view interactive dashboards. We've already instituted some very important um, small-term goals that have realized great financial savings as well as productivity improvements. And we'll continue to add data to our EDW next year, which will add value to our overall offering. Um, with the addition of new data sets, we expect to enhance our modeling for fraud detection and prevention. Um, Edition modeling and propensity modeling. We also expect to continue to refine the way we look at segmentation and targeting. We want to be able to um, be more relevant as far as cross-sell opportunities and expand our, camp our current campaign management opportunities. Um, we expect through our continued roadmap to enhance what we know about our customers through data linkage, data correlations, and actions. For example, how customer behavior will will affect product performance and product adoption. We will be creating a full customer view that we're calling our Consumer 360. That is something that CCD will be helping us as a 
primary focus in 2014. Um, it's a master data management protocol that um, will help us get the full view of the consumer as well as their behaviors. And we will enable and rate multiple products through our enterprise data warehouse, including data from non-PSCU sources. We're going to enabling location intelligence and predictive real-time models, which will allow us to expand, again, campaign offerings. And we expect to continue to learn, continue to learn about our customer preferences, their delivery channel preferences, and that's really going to help us to develop those automated real-time trigger-based campaigns. So um, with that said, I will thank you for your time and open it up for any questions. questions actually so I just want to I think this is going to go to Gina uh, what are your plans for the future of round mobile develop, uh, deployment some question mobile is actually a very um, a top priority for our company um, as it has been this year and on ongoing it is, it is a large initiative and we do plan to integrate what we're learning through our data into that channel so um, I want to go into very specific channels, but that's kind of one that I alluded to when we talked about channels. So mobile is a very hot topic, a very important channel, very relevant to our consumers, and data is a key um, a key component to that. So we are under we are in development right now to utilize that mobile channel in a multitude of ways, um, including you know the development of those real time um, those time offers, the rent offers at right time, right place, right person. So those are all things that we, we have developed, are in development right now. Great. Uh, and if anyone out there has any more questions, please send them into the uh, Q&A box so we can answer them. This is the time for that. Next question, uh, how has uh, uh, CC helped to get IT and the business working together to push your objectives? Really awesome question because, you know, traditionally, um, there hasn't been that awesome bridge between IT and business, at least in my experience or the course of my time in the working world. And um, I think it's been a wonderful opportunity to really bring together and, re and realize, you know, it's sometimes it's a, a culture shift to really take a look at initiative and work on it collaboratively. And the business is just as key in the development for this tool set as the IT folks are. And that bridge in the middle try to bring those groups together. So we've seen some very positive um, some positive outcomes as a result of these initiatives this year with the, the whole team working together as a collaborative group. Nice, big, happy family. So, um, you know, so it's been wonderful, actually. Okay. Um, let's see, we've got another one here. Why did you choose SAP for your prime platform to accomplish your goals? Okay. Um, well, we, we already, we, we've already been using um, business hell at BOE in our company for several years, and I know that when the initial review was done years ago to take a look at what was going to be an appropriate type of business intelligence type of platform, um, there was a lot of research done, and the decision was made to go with this particular company because there, there, it felt like it was a the ease of use and the the ability the the offer it gave the user. So you didn't have to be, um, you know, necessarily have a degree in, in business intelligence to be able to use this tool so that the normal business user could easily jump right in, use this tool without a lot of pain points, and get some very good value out of it. So I feel like SAP was a part of that decision point years ago. And then as we embarked on the larger scale um, initiative, we already had a comfort zone with what we were doing with the particular SAP products, and it felt like the natural, um, the logical natural order to just stay with what we had, that what we knew worked well, and then build upon that. Uh, I've got another one here. Um, what other BI tools do you use in your environment? Yes. So we do have we do use SAS. Tools today. Um, we use those for a, a deep dive into the campaign management opportunities um, that we offer to our, our credit unions today. So we do um, 
have you know the self serve aspect for our credit unions, but we also have an opportunity to create campaigns on their behalf. And so we do have a specific team of folks today that use the SAS um, some a SAS tool set today, and that works in conjunction with their data mart works in conjunction with our EDW platform. So they interact together and work and play well together. Have you ever considered uh, deploying these solutions to um, the GIA slash location intel, um, that type of thing? Can you phrase that question? I'm sorry, I didn't follow. Have you considered deploying these solutions to GIS slash location intel? Uh, you know, is is uh, is uh, something that actually um, CCG is helping you do? I mean, we'll definitely have the location intelligence that's going to be part of our um, our offering. So we're in the process of developing the plans to move ahead with the location intelligence and the geocoding and um, the the mapping types of properties that will it will live in our warehouse. So we actually are involved in that right now. I think I answered that correctly, Kristen. Did I answer that right? Yes, yeah, that is um, one of the top priorities for 2014 that we'll be working together on. I just wanted to make sure I understood that it was the same thing that I was thinking about. Yes, it definitely is. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, more questions so far. Uh, while we're waiting on some questions, is there anything, uh, um, Melanie or Gina, that you want to uh, tell our audience out there? I'll jump in and say that, you know, we had a really good year. We've made great progress, and you know, for our corporate initiatives, we're very excited to to be rolling our products out and um, and get to see the results. So the the investment has been well worth it, and um, we're expecting to see some great results in 2014 as a result of all of the work that was put in this year. So, if there's any more questions out there, get in, get them in now. This is, of course, the time for it. Um, I also just want to take this time to thank uh, Gina and Melanie for a really great podcast. Um, uh, and thank you everyone out there for attending as well. Um, as usual, we rec record our webcast here, and recording and slides will be posted to the ASUG website. All residents will receive an email with the link to the materials. Uh, and I don't show any more questions. Uh, any last thoughts, um, anybody, um, Gina or um, Melanie? Before we go, uh, no, I just again, I really appreciate the time that that everyone has taken out of their day to join this webcast with us, and, and, and you know the good that Gina and Kristen have into into this webcast, and we really look forward to continuing to work with PSD on our initiatives. Um, and we again just appreciate the time. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Melody and uh, Gina. Thank you so much for your presentation as well. That was really really great. Um, again, all registrants will receive an email with the link to the materials for the webcast. I just want to thank everyone for attending and uh, have a happy holiday uh, coming up and uh, have a great rest of the day and we'll see you on the next ASUG affiliate webcast. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.